Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Great Empire, where we play as England and hopefully later on Great Britain in our world conquest here. Uh, so last time some stuff happened, this time we're gonna... We're gonna uh, make Normandy a marsh, which is very true. Um, and they've uh, changed it up a bit, so let's uh, see what that entails. Yeah, that sounds good. Yep, sure, let's uh, subsidize them. Um, let's not do that yet. Um, This is really good, so we should send officers. We should enable uh, uh, embargo rivals. We should enable their trade. That's pretty important considering their um, important position there on the um, on the coast of France. Sure, let's give them a um, claim of Maine. No reason for us to hold on to it. Cool, that's pretty nice. Um, let's run with that. We also have a chance of um, getting a Lancaster into the onto the Osterreich uh, throne, and we got a cardinal minister. Let's go for some prestige, I think. Yep, we're gonna need that anyway. Let's hope, um, let's actually gift normally like 25 ducats, see if they can't uh, get some army up, up and running. Uh, our um, our force limit is increased by 2 from, uh, from uh, having Normandy, but I'm guessing we lost 4 considering we... Um, had a force limit of 39 before. Let's let's uh, send over one of our armies just to be ready in case. And let's go back to protect trade. Okay, so um, this is looking good, I guess. Um, this is an interesting experiment. An interesting experiment. I've never played like this before. Um, we're gonna see how that turns out. We're also gonna prep for um, an invasion of uh, Scotland. I suppose we could we could start uh, considering attacking Ireland in the meantime. So let's um, do some covert action. Covert action. And let's use all our spice to uh, accomplish that. And the renaissance has begun. And let's see where that is then. Venezia. So Venice. That's going to take a long time for to reach us. Um, but we do get some due to our high, de high development. So let's um, keep that in mind. Um, probably should focus on Ulster first. And... Um, Tiregoin, Tiregoin, um, simply because Northern Ireland is kind of strategic to us considering uh, the crossing to Scotland here. We're also working on Sildara. And that's fucking awful, but you know, awful things happen occasionally. So we have a pretty strong alliance. Holy shit! I forgot about this. Alright, so our ruler suffered from bouts of insanity and he suffered a complete breakdown when his son was born. Margaret of Anjou, his beautiful 
a passionate, proud, and strong-willed wife has already t- taken to rule the kingdom in his place. She understands her duty to protect the interests of the crown fer- fervently, a trait probably inherited from her mother and grandmother. Her mother fought to establish her husband's claim to the kingdom of Naples, Yolanda and Aragon. Yolanda of Aragon, Margaret's grandmother, governed Anjou with a man's hand, put the province in order and kept out the English. She is the, she is the champion of the crown, by virtue of personality and family example. I'm thinking we should uh, let her rule us. A lot better than this guy. Chancellor Air doesn't really matter, even though our current air is the worst ever, but uh, Ambassador would be nice to get out of. And of course, the, um, the pips. Alright, so we get yearly legitimacy. E- e already starting off good. And a lot of extra mana. Nice. Let's see what the other stuff is. Gonna have to wait 10 years for that. Okay, so let's um, designate um, Kala as our staple uh, port. Which is gonna piss off Brabant, but uh, who cares? And we're gonna get some mercantilism and trade power. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, so um, cool. I know I was talking about something before that happened. I can't remember what it was, but I'm sure it wasn't important. Unfortunately, we are uh, losing one sailor every month here. It's not gonna bankrupt us in uh, for about a hundred years. No, for about ten years. But uh, still, something to keep in mind. No, not ten years. More than a hundred years. Anyway, um, I forgot the turnover was every every month and not every every day. Um, let's start fabricating, shall we? Right, something we haven't looked at yet, which I'm gonna take a look at now, is the HS mechanics. We got almost a large city uh, with London. Let's um, here then you can move that around. Uh, London has got 22, so we could consider increasing that. We also got pressing on two continents. Hopefully, um, as I've, I haven't told you yet, but I'm gonna. Try to get um, exploration as soon as possible, so we can start colonizing right away. And I also haven't looked at these ideas yet, but I guess it isn't that important. Moral navies doesn't really do much. Embargo is nice. Leaders without upkeep is also nice. Um, and the first bonus is um, heavy ship combat, which is okay, I guess. But anyway. Um, we haven't got anything uh, unique for England. Uh, I think we are going to get it in the future. You can't, unfortunately, look at the other ages. Um, uh, already, you're gonna, you have to wait for the time to pass. But I see a few, see a few things. This one would be really nice to have. And this one is always nice to have. Um, this one is great to have in prolonged wars. And this, we won't have to worry about but some yeah a few stuff a, a few things so let's um, ship our army over and let's start conquering and I suppose let's uh, get away with this and start going around here instead we're gonna keep one diplomat for all the warring. Do we have a general? We do. Richard Plantagenet. Plant Plantagenet. Uh, I think it's pronounced. Let's start with you, lad. Then here we go. Right. And let's uh, allow the ships to trade again. Total wipe, nice. Always appreciated. Right, we should and um, then embark on Scotland. Then I guess uh, one thing we could do, which would destabilize Denmark a whole lot, is we could support uh, Sweden in their. Um, 
independence thing. We should wait until our after our after all of our wars are done, but that's something we should do. And yeah. That's a nice way to piss off your rival at least. And we did get some power projection by eclipsing Scotland, so that's nice. Let's lose some prestige there. <clears throat> All right, let's go for the, the other one. Sildara or Kildara. Not sure which one it is, but sounds fine either way. And in the meantime, let's sue for peace for Ulaid, uh, Ulad, something like that. And we're gonna gain a lot of money. We're gonna gain a bit of Northern Ireland. Never uh, seen this before. And let's increase another army. No reason to have our armies strut around and um, put down rebellions unnecessarily. Um, let's claim these two. Then we can go back to the macro builder and assign these guys to what they were on before. I don't think threatening uh, country is gonna be necessary to um, worry about for a little while. Normandy is still only got three um, regiments, still uh, still quite a lot, um, decent enough for support anyway. And the good thing is that they pay for the fort, and we don't have to. Uh, and I guess we aren't paying. We're paying not even a quarter ducat every month to. For, to uh, buff up their discipline and I think that's pretty much worth it so yeah all right uh, we're done here let's so now it's uh, Egoin and Lothlin Lothlin is Lothlin allied to anyone else they aren't so let's uh, go full out in this war then Oops, sorry. Cool. So for peace, take Kildara, all their money. We are the modern age Vikings, taking all their land, money, and um, well, um, hopefully that's it. All right, so uh, this is going fine. We are manifesting our destiny here. And we are um, reconquering. We are conquering Ireland, and we are in fifth place here. And we should be a great power. We are, and we're most likely gonna remain one for a while, hopefully um, forever, depending on um, how things go. I guess we're also making quite a bank here. So um, something we could do is. Um, Okay, our force teams are already met, so let's uh, keep that on the back burner. Another thing we can do is build some buildings as soon as we unlock them. So soon we're going to have the marketplace, which is going to make a, a big difference overall. We can't walk into Sligich, Sligich, no idea, Sligich, um, yet, but we can soon. That's me getting a message. Uh, anyway, um, I generally tend to stray on not getting, uh, not losing stability and uh, also not losing loyalty. So let's uh, lose some legitimacy, I guess. We are going to gain some extra due to our uh, queen cohort, so that's pretty nice. And we can abuse this in getting some extra, some extra money. Right, let's keep going. I freaking love you, dear Egoin. Now we're gonna get an extra province out of that. It's fantastic. 
this uh, subjugation of Ireland is going quicker than we could have ever imagined. So that's that's very nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, so let's... Um, one in London. One in uh, Calais. Calais. Calais just sounds like you're saying clay very weirdly. weirdly. Um, one in Yorkshire and Yorkshire. And then let's hold off for the future. All right, so um, start off with the miner. Uh, the union partner in the war, get all their money, get their uh, land. Then we go for, as um, soon as our diplomat is back, let's go for Lothlin. Get all their money, get everything else, we're done. Core it all, and then increase um, autonomy. So we can't increase Nils Sligo because, uh, uh, what were they called? Sligich increased it when they conquered it, but you know, we can't have everything, I guess. Uh, so let's instead place our army here. I suppose it wasn't Sligage, it was uh, Tira going, but still. And we got a whole lot of more money, so let's... Um, I know uh, Ireland is in the North Sea trade node, and we're going to need that as soon as we get our, our colonial empire going. So we should consider building some um, marketplaces there, but right now that's not as important. So let's focus on Essex and get some fuckboys going, and then... Um, Oxfordshire and what's this? Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire. I'm sorry, any Brits uh, watching? I am not the greatest at pronouncing your your locales. Even though I, in my opinion, you aren't that great either. Um, no offense. So we have a claim here. We don't. I thought we claimed this. We, I must have missed that. So let's um, re reclaim it, I guess. We're also going to claim uh, Connacht and... Um... <sighs> yeah. Um, Tuadum Nuhain. Something like that. Something like that. And yeah, this is going fine, I think. We do have some legation separatists going. The other ones aren't going to be a problem. Kildara is... Especially fine, no no worries there. And yeah, we probably should have a fort here in the play, pale, I guess. But that's a uh, goal for the future. Or if we start going into the positives soon again, we could do it that way as well. Uh, let's save some money. We're going to have to keep an eye on the separatists, but they are quite a ways away still. A regent's castle could be worse. Um, too bad we lost Anjou. And funnily enough, our regent's castle is better than um, the actually the actual debutant. So you know, let's endure it while it lasts. And right, we are gonna. Didn't I claim this before? Why? Yeah, I did. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Anyway, um, let's go for two add two and then instead then. Uh, I love how it's renamed to Kings County. That's so uh, so weird, but uh, it's cool. I like Kil Kildara more though. I suppose Kildara could mean Kings County in Irish. Would not surprise me. Or in Gaelic or whatever. Alright, um, the revolt is sl slowly uh, moving forward. France did not take anything here. Provence did take Nantes from um, uh, Brittany. Breich. Um, and we lost an advisor, that's fine though. Need four speed? Sure, good enough. Uh, we are going to want to break our alliance with Castile pretty much as soon as we start colonizing. Uh, because we don't want a friendly competition over there. We already have Portugal, which most likely have already started to um, 
do that to um, colonize. I don't know how they. They have not, but they are gonna going to as soon as they can. So as soon as we can, we're gonna focus on uh, Dipper points simply to um, get our colonists out there as soon as possible and as, as far as possible. And we're also gonna end here. I'm just gonna claim Connacht and then I'm gonna say thanks for today and hopefully watch me tomorrow. And please leave a like or subscribe if you want to see more. See you next time. Bye.